हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल टीके इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग फाइन फ्रेंड्स वेल फ्रेंड्स रिसीड वन पार्सल फ्रॉम गुवाहाटी आसाम सो दिस इज सम सम साउंड कंपनी दे हैव सम सम इलेक्ट्रॉनिक इक्विपमेंट फॉर पेलेट्स अनबॉक्स दिस वन ही इज ऑल्सो माई वन ऑफ माई यूट्यूब कस्टमर ही सॉ माई वीडियो ऑन यूट्यूब चैनल एंड ही टॉक टू मी फर्स्ट and then he sent this for repair so let's unbox this one my friend this is uh uh See, this is amplifier and power supply module for RCF subwoofer 8006 model 8006 RCF high power subwoofer model this is this input SMPS power supply and plus amplifier both so they have sent like this how many one this also also same two So this also same RCF H zero six six H zero zero six high power amplifier module. This is high power subwoofer belongs to the high power subwoofer module. Uh, this can comes with same amplifier module and power supply. So there is this two in one. So total four. so one more see so guys total four they have sent it okay so guys total four are there so there are total four uh, module amplifier plus power supply both included in one uh, board so this has came from guwahati assam uh, this is also one of my the youtube customer and this is also a sound company he sent this for repair so guys what we will do we'll uh make a small video of each repairing module okay so just keep watching my video guys till end so we'll repair one by one thank you so guys we'll check one by one all power supplies okay so first we'll try to repair this one so we're applying voltage we'll check what is the issue in this so okay I'll just check the voltage also over here. You can come to know. Okay, put it on. Voltage comes. See, voltage is there, but I should get light over here. So it means that power supply is not working. So it is completely power supply dead. Okay, but power is coming. See. Okay, so guys, what we will do? We'll put it off first. So then we have to remove all these uh, connectors. Okay, this is all MOSFET supporter, metal supporter. So we need to take it out this PCB to check uh, further. So just keep watching my video. We'll take it out this one. So guys, I have removed all the supporters and nuts also. So we'll take it. So guys, special. Take it out. So 
we have to take it out this one so now we'll work here so this is the power supply section smps section and this is the output amplifier module this is the amplifier module and this is the power supply section so we'll work on on this one smps circuit so step by step we'll check what is the issue in this okay guys just keep watching my video till end so guys uh, we'll check from here now so we'll apply a power i'll put it on i put it on now so we'll check input power is coming or not see input power is coming this will be rectifier ok and check the dc volt see dc volt are coming all capacitors voltages are coming see all four capacitors okay so this is see this is our main filter rectifier diode so our voltage is coming so this is the main pwmic pulse width modulation pwm pulse width modulation pwm so we'll check over here so this is the supply line okay okay see but voltage is little fluctuating is there i must get more than 12 volt over here then only it will energize otherwise it won't energize so there is something problem see pin number one is there is fluctuation is there voltage see there is a fluctuation on pin number one so this indicates that there is no proper oscillation is going on so we'll check now ohms we'll put it off first i put it off so guys we'll check some ohms uh, i kept on buzzer this one this range loud range so we'll check some is any shorting with the ic one two three four five six seven so there is no any short with the ic and this is the transistors okay and this is okay this is 2 pnp and this is npn these are the npn transistors okay so there is no any shorting so there are diodes here that okay this diode also okay this to mosfet is in shorting the mosfet so there is no short so there is no any shorting so this the n channel mosfet so there is no any shorting in the MOSFET ok so our MOSFETs are good and there are some transistors over here this uh, ok this is ok there is no shorting ok I am checking all on uh, all in diode range so I am getting good reading over here so there is no any any kind of uh, uh, defective parts I am not noticing yet this transistor also good same pin transistor this is PNP ok on a diode over here 
so it looks good there are two diodes okay this transistor also okay so overall my friend this side uh, there is no any 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 defective parts i notice so that uh, two transistors over here a uh, sorry two registers over here 0.9 because they are both in parallel okay so one diode here this diode is okay so friends overall uh, there is no any any abnormal components i found in the primary section so we'll move towards secondary now so just check this uh, diode this optocoupler so there is no any shorting in the optocoupler this this also no so one there are two four transistors over here okay there is no any shorting okay okay this also okay so how about this one okay this is the actually this is a diode this is diode okay and this is uh, this is npn transistors okay and this is this is this is i'm getting uh, abnormal reading on this transistor my friend this one see uh see uh base and emitter it is showing 70 75 ohms see whereas at collector nothing so this is uh see it's showing ohms uh, so base and emitter shorted so this is uh, uh, pnp transistors this is pnp transistor my friend so we need to take this out and check separately if it is faulty then we need to replace with the new one this is the pnp transistor okay just keep watching my video till end see so this transistor is faulty so now we can check here so there is no any shorting see so guys this is a pnp transistor because of this i think there is no oscillation was going on uh it's not getting fully oscillated so we'll replace this pnp transistors with the new one so first clean this area So guys we have fixed the new transistor this is a pnp transistor now we'll check any shorting so guys there is no shorting before base and emitter was showing shorting 75 ohms but now it is not so this is pnp transistor see okay i think through optocoupler the solution was not completed because of this uh, faulty transistor therefore so this is now good so our optocopter also good so guys we have replaced the faulty pnp transistor in the secondary side near optocoupler is a pnp transistor so now i will apply power input power source then we'll check 
the output is coming or not just keep watching my video guys till end okay so guys now we'll check any shorting is there or not so there is no shorting so this is pnp transistor okay see so before base and emitter was showing some ohms 75 ohms so now it is not showing so it means this transistor was faulty so because of this transistor so our auto couple is not uh, energizing so that's why the our smps circuit is not oscillating so now we'll switch it on we'll apply input power and we'll check just keep watching my video guys till end so better fix it in the body so we'll fix it in the body and we'll put it on okay guys so guys i have fixed it back everything okay now it's time to check so we'll put it on now so if it is okay so we must get uh, uh, light here yellow light means that uh, our model is okay okay so we'll connect it now so i'll put it on put it on see guys light come so it means our power supply is good see light come over here see so this yellow light indicates that our power supply is good so we'll check the voltages also so guys we'll check the voltages also so this is our common see minus 9 state so guys okay so guys uh, our power supply is good so it's working fine so thank you very much for watching my video take care next video very soon next video bye